In this video, I will tell you about an unusual solution to a problem from the Summer Math Olympiad program. First, let's write down the inequality for the integer part of any real number. Next, using the condition of the problem, we get two new inequalities. Since n can be arbitrarily large, the sum of a and b is at least c. On the other hand, the value of the same expression is no more than the number c. From this equality, we can get equality for the fractional parts of the numbers a, b, c. Now imagine that you have a box of balls, each of which has an integer multiplied by the root of 2 written on it. You can equally likely take a ball out of the box and count the fractional part of the number on it. What is the mathematical expectation of the value you have received? Let's look at the distribution of our value in the range from 0 to 1 with a different number of balls. As we can see, this value has a equidistribution, which means that the mathematical expectation of our value tends to 1 plus 2. However, this fact is known to be true for any irrational number. What should we do if gamma is a rational number? It turns out that in this case, since q is not equal to 1, then the mathematical expectation is the arithmetic mean of the remainder of the division by q. In this case, the mathematical expectation of the fractional part of n gamma lies in a certain interval. Now let's return to our problem. We can separately choose the fractional parts of the numbers n, b, n, c, n. So the following equality is true. From this, it can be seen that the numbers a and bi must be rational, and the number c is irrational. There is a contradiction with the previously obtained equality, but we have not considered only the case when one of the numbers a, b, c is rational with a denominator of 1. That is, it is an integer. The problem is solved. A couple of days ago, I made another video about the Olympiad problem. You can watch it until the video is over.